we're running out of time to find a new home. We may be making an offer by the end of the day. Okay, I gotta say it. Mom, if you're coming to visit, we've got a place for you to stay. Place number 14, we're seeing just as the sun is going down. It's got about 40 acres. A charming little house. We're still waiting for the real estate agent to come by so we can go inside. It's got a shop, which is a plus. That last place did not have a good shop for us. And it's a lovely view. There doesn't seem to be any good outbuildings for animals or fencing. So that is a consideration. That's just an expense that we would have to make this place work for us. I'm anxious to see the inside. Way is over there, and then it goes back that way. Okay, so it's farther that way than would yep. appear to us at the moment. Property line ends just beyond the house, so the house is all the way on the back. Yeah. I'll just show you. There's the house and the, oops, sorry. The house and the property line. I see. Oh yeah, it goes way over. Yeah, I mean you can see that it doesn't. Way end over. Way yeah, this uh, little stretch here is just a little strip that we're mm -hmm. uh, exactly looking at here. Well, this has a lovely, lovely feel to it, walking back into this uh, wonderful view. We got here at the perfect time to see this. Hope we didn't make you drive too fast after oh, no, we the dog rescue. Kobe uh, stopped to help a few dogs that had got away from their owner and were on the, on the freeway. But this has a lot more grass growing up in it. I would almost say this would be easier to make grass than the last property because all the grass is still there. Yeah, yeah, it just seems to be mowed down. Yeah. And I could put goats in there and they would mow yep. all those brushy things down anyway, so. That last property, it just, I feel like it was lacking the grass to begin with. You'd yeah. almost have to overseed in the spring. Yep. It would yep. grow. Yeah, it would take a while though. Yep. Because it has to have that mulch layer, and then another mulch layer, and another mulch layer, and another mulch layer. So exactly. Here's when people complain, complain about Rocky and Missouri. This is yeah, where well, it's just about. just right there. Just because when you brush hog or you try to till it or anything, you just hit those rocks. Yeah. Look at that sunset. My goodness. This is another beautiful place. Still, this has brush up in it. But it's likely an overflow. Boy goats, back there. <laughs> the uh, the one on the far side? Yes. So, you don't want it to get that high and drain out, but if it does, rather than backing up to the house, the house it goes out there. Yeah. This place is on what's called a lagoon system, which is basically pipe from the house draining into a hole in the ground. Not something we're used to in the Pacific Northwest, but if the lagoon is, if the lagoon is big enough, I guess normal conditions just kind of sanitizes it, everything and makes it work. I know it's not Wendy's favorite sort of the feature to have on the property that we're looking at. This is one of those houses berm houses that's partially buried makes it a little more energy efficient and very easy to get on the roof it's a newer house everything looks like it's in good shape well these parts aren't the problem <laughs> it's all the work stuff what's that these parts aren't the problem, it's all the work stuff. Needing a fencing and... Needs. Needs versus wants. I want the sunset. I don't need the sunset. <laughs> oh. 
two bed, one bath, tray ceiling. I like the hickory cabinets. Yeah. It's got a nice walk-in closet. And a little bonus room back here. Look at the uh, closet and the little bonus room in the back. Wow. Oh, is that where the locker room Skylight. Skylight? Yeah, and there's crown molding over the cabinets. I love the hickory cabinets. Definitely a smaller house, just the one bathroom. Yeah, plenty of storage. Yeah. Of course, no windows on the back because that's buried. Alright, so this is the shop area. Today is a rainy day. As it turns out, we're not going to be looking at any new houses today. The real estate agent is going to try and set some more things up for us tomorrow. We've seen some good things. Today, we're going to spend doing a little research. We want to know, you know, how much it would cost to maybe extend a gravel dra driveway or put up some outbuildings for our goats. Just a few different things like that. You know, maybe. A little, little bit of lightning there. First Midwest storm for me. You know, maybe you have to dig a septic system for a place that has just the, the lagoon type sewer treatment. We'll have more information as far as what we can afford if we do a little research today. I've seen an awful lot of these water trenches around here. And so I was looking forward to a good hard rain just to see how they how they work and how necessary they are. It does seem to be pretty efficient in moving the water where you need it to go. Today is pretty exciting. We're running out of time to find a new home. We found several good candidates. Today we're going to see one more that we haven't seen before. And then we're going to go back and look at a few that we've already seen. We may be making an offer by the end of the day. This is place number 15, and it has a lot of potential. An incredible amount of room, beautiful terrain, lots of outbuildings, a wonderful pond, There's a lot of updating that needs to happen with this house, but we would get to do it and it would feel more like ours. That's, that's a plus in my book. It literally just posted. We're the first people to ever see this house on the market. Our real estate agent did one last look for us and found it literally the day that it posted. This room also has a walk-in closet. Attic access an right attic there. Access. And a decent attic access, not some weird thing that goes through the light and stuff and knocks down mouse poop every time you open it. This panel <laughs> could probably come down really easy and right mm -hmm. That light would be easy to change some oh, yeah. coloring to. So there's actually light down on yeah. the stairs. <laughs> oh, look, it's for arrows. Perfect. He would eat that. <laughs> He would jump over it after he ate it. Yeah, <laughs> fireplace. Right? 
Yeah, the same exact fireplace up and down. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of space in this house. This, could, I mean, if you wanted to put a divider, but this is a spot for another bedroom right here. Yeah. More of a more of a finished basement. Probably yeah, we've seen unfinished basements. Yeah. Probably technically a two-story house, just because you do have a walk-in on the main level. Okay. And so it's not you know the split entrance. Yeah. Washer dryer hookups here. What all do they have going on? Bathroom down here. There's a little door to somewhere. It goes under the stairs. Yeah, just a little storage. Yeah, that's where Harry Potter lives. Yeah, it's like a big place to put freezers. Pantry kind of stuff, maybe? Pantry kind of stuff. Empty the tank, fill it up to the correct PSI, and then when that bladder expands, that's what's giving you pressure. If there's no back pressure from the air, then there's nothing to squeeze that bladder and give you water pressure to the yeah. house. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you actually might come out here with a bike pump every once in a while and fill this to 9 PSI hmm. if, if you're having water pressure trouble. This is a place where the seller said we can have an inspection done, but we have to have a contract that says they're not going to fix or redo anything, but we can back out of the offer contract if we find something we don't we don't like. It's still a good idea, of course, to have an inspection done so we know what we're getting into, what we have to take care of. And we are seeing a lot of a lot of wires and hoses, kind of going around the place, and, and I don't know enough about Seriously, all of that to know what's a serious concern or not. So it's hard to tell if this is old, evidence of yeah. old, which I'm guessing, um, because like, it's been raining yeah. all day and I don't see any actual water. Yeah. You'll see it reflect, you know, if it's, but this is, like she said, more of a, more of a greenhouse, green and mm -hmm. porch, obviously in addition. Now this looks wet, see that? A little bit, but it yeah. doesn't feel wet. Maybe a tiny bit right at the edge. You can yeah. maybe feel it. It might get a little bit of runoff just from that this. corner spot. Yeah. It has been raining the last couple of days. It's just a misty rain right out there right now. So it's That's good to see a house to uh, yeah, it during it's wet weather to see there. what issues there might be. I wonder if this is an old suit because there's no. I do I see a little bit of uh, damage here. A little looks like a little bit of water damage maybe. It's a nice kind of addition, like yeah. Wendy was saying, for plants. Yeah. Now the the log cabin house we were very I was very excited about because it had brand new fiber optic which would be really nice for fast internet speeds. And Colby, this place you said was on fiber optic? Yeah, it's actually through the electric company for the house. Okay, okay. So I put another fan right here. Nice yeah, Wendy Wendy wants as many ceiling fans inside and outside on the porch possibly as possible. Well, and with these lights here, you just have to get an electrician to fish a wire, drill a hole, and there you go, you got a new box. Yep. When you actually screw this closed, there's the stopper is like 12 inches behind the wall, depending on okay. how long you buy it. They're designed to be below level so that when you close it, all the water drains out. Does that make sense? Makes sense, so if nothing can freeze. and. If they're installed incorrectly, it can pull back there. With this house, it shouldn't freeze. I have one in my garage, and I've actually had them burst inside in the wall. And I didn't notice it till the spring because the burst was from that little puddle of water. Oh. So it was closed, but then when I opened it in the springtime, there was a burst in okay. the wall. Okay. And that's how I caught it. So this, if you ever have to replace it, take this down, and Access it's attached panel. to your main plumbing right there, and that's going to be very easy to just swap that okay. out. Okay. Yeah, so the house is kind of up and in the middle of a big square. You can see the road, which is a property line. We're thinking the property line is just where the land goes up again, just past that line of trees. Can't even really see the property line back there. It's behind the trees somewhere. Same thing on that, on that side. So a lot of privacy.
everybody watching this video. Tell us what you think your favorite house is. Which one should we choose? Yeah, here's another big one. Look at that. This is a persimmon grind. We had a really good feeling about this one, and so far we're not disappointed. Fish in the pond jumping. Dog's the biggest threat. Uh -huh. That's a beautiful horse, though. Yeah. yeah. Super sweet. Probably doesn't come with the property, Wendy. Nice arrows. Yeah, arrows. Nice. It's okay. This building is a little questionable. It's obviously leaning quite a bit this way. Foundation of just stones around the perimeter. Really caving in. They're really not using it for anything, haven't been using it for anything for quite a while. Feels more like a fort than anything else. Maybe storing something to keep it dry, but it's uh might not be worth trying to shore up to even make it any better. I like old buildings. I think this tree is holding up part of it. It's just a fun little thing. Yeah. I mean, clear the brush out, plant flowers to climb on it. It'd be charming to look at, but maybe not use. Is that a house or is that a barn? I'm looking at right now. That is it's right, across, right through the trees. It's on our property. You think it's on our property? It is on the property. It up. For sure. Wow. The property line is, I mean, I don't even see it over there yet, but it goes all the way to the road. It's a, it's a perfect square. Okay. There may be a whole nother house on this property that maybe wasn't listed as part of the property because it has no value. It doesn't bring value a lot of times. Go up that it. way because. There's your homestead, Brian. And here's your chicken house. Could that have been the original house? It very well could have been. Yeah. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. Chicken house. <laughs> yeah, little. Uh, this was yeah. This is a little cluster of buildings here. It looks like this was the original homestead on this property. Mostly just garbage. Okay, I gotta say it. Mom, if you're coming to visit, we've got a place for you to stay. We're walking down to another big pond. The other pond was sort of the grand entrance. This is this is more of a secret pond. I mean, this is where your chair goes. You walk down from the house. This is hot summer day pond. <laughs> Looks like they've been, uh, piling up rocks over here that they wanted to get out of the way. So maybe some of the pasture has been cleared of rocks, Wendy. And then you can use that to do garden stuff and things like that. This is sort of ready-made rock pile. Instead of me having to tell you, we're gonna go pick up rocks on our walk. <laughs> Here's your bucket. <laughs> There is a lot of space in here. This is concrete in here, Wendy. Cut the light switch. And this would be good temporarily, at least. Yeah, to store things. This little spot shows what the soil looks like, at least right here. We do have some rocks right in there, but a good amount of soil.
good size space for something. Yep. Oh, it does. Uh, it does need a few roof panels. Yep. Yep. Just reinforced. It looks dry, and then there's obviously some water damage along the wood beams here. Looks like everywhere there's a. It connects to another piece of wood. I wonder if they replaced the metal on the roof. Yeah. It looks like it, because look how new those stamps look. Yeah. So this is the very back corner of the property with the fence and the fence along there. There's a lot of nice bowl, <laughs> kind of bowl-shaped areas that just feel private, self-contained, very peaceful. Today was very productive. We made an offer, we accepted their counteroffer. Stay tuned for the next video when we'll reveal our new home.